Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me here for the Radar Summit. I'm Jelly Li, Cognitive Software Engineer for Jingo, the conversational AI of Orange. Since 2019, Jingo has been helping our customers with their online shopping, answering questions about customer service and technical troubleshooting. With these experiences from production and feedback from my colleagues, I'd like to talk about continuous improvement today. At first, we will go through the reasons why this topic is particularly important for chatbots. Then, how the process works, and、uh, finally, the lessons we have learned will be shared as well. So let's get started. Why this topic is particularly interesting? Because unlike other software applications, the beauty of a chatbot is the natural way it communicates, which leads us to the challenge of handling infinite spontaneous responses in certain contexts. So it would be difficult to plan for every eventuality before delivering to real users. Especially when it comes to things like context switching and、uh, seamless task execution due to the unpredictable nature of a human dialogue. Chatbot projects learn by doing. It must be continuously updated, maintained, and be fed with real-time relevant information to stay up to date. So a continuous learning cycle based on real user conversations and feedback can be extremely helpful. This graph、uh, gives us the big picture of how the process works. First of all, we collect user feedback, and then we will analyze it to measure the effectiveness of the chatbot performance in order to find key elements of improvement, so that we can create and、uh, update training data to generate a new model. After changes are made. It's ideal to verify that the new version is performing well and、uh, it meets our expectations. In the test step, we will analyze our new model on a test dataset to make sure that there's no regression of、uh, comprehension and conversation handling. Ideally, model re-evaluation and retraining should also be based on actionable feedback. So it's important to automate the entire workflow using a CI/CD pipeline, using a version control system to manage models and perform holistic end-to-end -end testing. In the next step,、uh, the pre-deployment testing will be done in a, a development environment before delivering it to real users, and then after the Deployment, we will be back in the first phase again. From here, we can monitor、um, uh, metrics to further verify our improvement and、uh, renew the, the and renew the cycle. Here, we can see in a simple way、uh, how this、uh, process can be achieved. And、uh, I'd like to draw particular attention to analyzing and、uh, improvement. So let's zoom in on these two parts. The difficulty here is that we have a huge amount of feedback and process, and it's unrealistic to read all conversations. So it's imperative to have a macro vision with mean indicators, which allows us to supervise the overall performance of our chatbot and clearly show us what we should prioritize in our improvement efforts. The indicators can be general, such as task completion or client satisfaction. From our experience, it's also very beneficial to add some. Uh, uh, indicators for the specific needs of every project. 
We need this analyze to make the necessary improvement as efficiently as possible so that we can identify conversations to analyze in detail for the next stage. For instance, in the case of uh, the Orange troubleshooting chatbot, we want to understand why some customers have given up during the live box reset. So we can track these particular conversations to investigate their experience. It could do to incorrect detection of intent and entity, or the explanation from the chatbot wasn't clear enough for users to understand. After completing assessments and analysis, we have identified the weak spots. The next action to improve is to update workspace based on the results of the assessments performed in the analyze phase. Any intent, entity, or dialogue response that wasn't correct, the fixed version should be added to training when appropriate. I would like to share some lessons learned by our teams. <laughs> Firstly, reading real conversations is critical to improving the bot. Frequently analyzing real conversations in detail is highly recommended. Secondly, there are so many indicators when it comes to measuring the chatbot performance. However, each bot is unique. How do you measure your chatbot success should directly correlate with your bot use case. It's important to define our main KPI to better prioritize, especially for the primary uh, iterations when the chatbot has many weak spots. Uh, the next one. It's not only a continuous task, but also a collaborative one, which requires different skill sets. Developers, linguists, domain experts, UX designers, product managers, and DevOps still need to work together in this process. Last but not the least, good tools boost productivity. This saves time on collecting, transforming, and analyzing information. And from a collaborative perspective, it keeps resources for the whole team who have different skill sets to create common understanding, which saves in synchronizing efforts. That's all of my presentation. Thanks for your attention.